All right, so I'm gonna show everyone a quick dynamic warm-up. Warm-ups are really important to do before any run, and it's important to get your body ready to go into a run no matter how far that is. So, Carla, what we can do is when you're at the park or wherever you may be running, just find a pole to hold on to, and all you're gonna do is swing your legs back and forth. Okay. I like to do it for about a minute or so on each leg, and you're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch in the front and in the back of the leg, and you'll just get that body going into kind of like a pendulum. All right, so why don't you go ahead and try that. Doing this kind of exercise is gonna be really good to warm the body up and get the leg moving into that motion that it would be doing while you're running. It also is a little bit more of a dynamic stretch than just statically stretching your hamstrings. And the research has actually found lately that static stretching is not good to be doing during uh, before a run. So you definitely wanna be doing something more dynamic like this. Okay. Another dynamic warm-up that's really easy to do is just a forward lunge. So it's up to you if you want to just alternate doing this on each leg or if you kind of want to do it while walking a certain distance okay. just to get your body going. So the way to do a proper lunge is you're going to take a big step forward and then just drop your back knee so that the front leg is totally perpendicular to the ceiling or to the floor. And then you push that leg back up and then alternate, same thing. You're just dropping this knee. This is just going along for the ride and then push back up. Okay. All right, let's try that. Nice, push back up, and then other way. <laughs> good. So this kind of exercise is really good because it, it's a little bit more high intense, intensity, and it's really good to make sure that you're doing a motion that's similar to running. So you're already moving in a forward direction and then back. So you're using a bunch of different muscle groups that you would be using when you run. So what's also really important to do is to cool down after a run. So you've been working hard for 30, 40 even, and 60 hour. minutes, yeah. so you wanna make sure you give the body time to rest those muscles. And my favorite way to do that, which is everyone's least favorite way, <laughs> is to foam roll. Okay. Foam rolling is really, really important. It's a really good way to get through some of that muscle tightness that develops mm -hmm. after the run. So for you, what I'm gonna recommend for sure is doing your hamstrings, but for other runners, it's also important to make sure that they're foam rolling their quads, IT band, calves, and a physical therapist is gonna be able to definitely point out which specific muscle groups are important to foam roll. So for you, what I'm gonna recommend is you lay this on the ground. There's a couple different ways that you can foam roll. So you can do both legs at once or you can do one leg at a time. Okay. I tend to prefer one leg at a time just because I feel like it's a little bit more intense. And you just roll all the way from your knee up to your hip. Okay. Just go up and down for about five minutes. It's a pretty long time. Yeah. A lot longer than most people think. Right. But it's really important to make sure that if you find a tighter spot, you kind of just hang on to that for 10, 15 seconds before you move to another area of the body. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and try that. Yep. So it's just, it usually doesn't feel terribly comfortable, but it feels really good after, I promise. Yes. <laughs> and again, this is to make sure that those muscles that have just been worked a lot for the past 30, 45 minutes right. are getting that proper cool down and you're stretching them the way that they should be in a safe way. Okay.